It's your boy Nile Green again. Today I'm extracting more caffeine from my- Oh no, I dropped my glasses in acid again. Which pair is it? I can't see. So unfortunate. Oh my god, something is wrong. I think I might be bad at chemistry. I don't know my caffeine is- Anyway, after boiling the solution down, it turned into a nice white powder. The final yield. 342 grams. Are you joking? Pathetic. That's not the one kilogram yield of caffeine I was hoping for. I need life hacks to be better at chemistry and get my caffeine yield to one kilogram. Warning, these life hacks are dangerous, so don't follow what you see in this video. It is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Look, I made some free boiling chips. I can already feel myself getting better at chemistry. I am completely fine, by the way. This is because I had this fire extinguisher nearby. The second life hack you probably shouldn't try is to use bunch of balloons. These can easily store my chemicals with a predetermined amount of liquid already measured out for me because they contain around 200 milliliters each. Remember to label your chemicals. Now I can easily add liquids without measuring it out every time. It's a huge time saver. Also, this makes for a very colorful lab. Here I got ethanol, methanol, HCl, acetone, forgot, mystery, danger, and legally cannot say. I just need sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide and then oh no, this is really f***ing bad. Anyway, just throw the sulfuric acid at my glass and then the hydrogen peroxide. See, that was so fun to clean. So now I'm going to test this life hack by extracting the caffeine from coffee again. You should be familiar with this procedure. Add dichloromethane and methanol to the ground coffee. The dichloromethane is to dissolve the caffeine. Now add some extra methanol to give me my spontaneously combusting fire which keeps it warm. Also don't forget to add in sodium carbonate. Also remember to stir the solution. Now my hand is very warm. My hand can now help warm the solution too. Remember to filter into 4 ply toilet paper for that extra smooth- Oh no my fire. It happened again. Me sad. Now for the next step. Most people don't know this, but if you leave the valve open on a separatory funnel, something interesting happens. Add in 15 milliliters DCM and then slowly add the filtered solution. You can see something is happening. The organic layer is being Thanos snapped out of existence. It's either that or I still have my Jesus privileges. Now we just have our pure clear product. Oil it down with a blowtorch until you're left with the nice white caffeine powder. Now weigh how much we got. I'm hoping for 100% yield from this method, but I'm happy with 99- Wait, negative 4 grams. That can't be right. Maybe I weighed it wrong. Oh good, it's a higher number. Wait oh f**k, it's negative 483 grams. I need better life hacks. I am so furious I can't believe my life hacks failed me. I gotta come up with something better. This blender will help dissolve away my misery. Caffeine was my friend. Caffeine was my life. I need my caffeine. A world without caffeine is a world without love, hope and dreams. As Albert Einstein once said to me, everybody can extract caffeine, but if you judge a fish by its ability to make caffeine, then it will live its whole life in caffeine because caffeine, caffeine, caffeine. I will make that one kilogram caffeine if it's the last thing I'll do. This is my destiny, my grand finale of an extraction. So anyway, here is my yield, 999 Quick interruption, this is my real voice. I've been using an AI voice of Nile Red. Thank you all for 100,000 subscribers. But anyway, I have another life hack. Inside this case is something so powerful and secret that I can't show it to you in this room. Let's go to a more secure location. This room is safe. Let me show you what's inside. And, yep, I have Rick Sanchez portal gun. I'm going to use this to get better glassware. There we go, and we just walked through. This is the smartest heist in history. No one will ever see or know. Hey, oh shit, I was house? just visiting. What? I was just going to ask if I could borrow your glass. See losing. Whoa, wait, where the f am I? This isn't the lab. What, hey, I think I'm locked up in a garden shed. Luckily, I always keep chemicals on me for these common occurrences. First is sulfuric acid. Dex file is my hyd- Wait silly me this is my uranium. I should put that back so I don't lose it. Now here is my hydrogen peroxide. All I have to do is mix these together and I now have corona solution on my hand. Come on, please work. Oh my god that was so easy. Now I gotta get out of here. Oh man, I'm still at his house. I gotta get out of here fast. Typical explosion sandfire. You can't kidnap me that easily. I will run like the flash. I'm sorry I didn't think you would see me. I was only going to take 50% of your chemicals so you wouldn't notice. Oh my, I'm so tired I need a breather. This is exhausting. Woohoo I escaped. That was so easy. Security guard. Oh no. Oh ouch. Stop tackling me. 
Hello welcome back to another episode of Explosions in Fire. I make videos on this channel now. Yellow chemistry is so fun. I love this. Subscribe to Semi Free, please.